Hi everyone, how's it going? It's Microwave Sam. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to put Windows 8, 8.1, 7, or any ISO disk onto a blank DVD-R, DVD Plus R, any of those blank disks. Now, I'm going to use a Verbatim, which is the brand name, DVD-R. It's not rewritable. Sometimes you have a DVD-RW, which stands for rewritable. So by writing on this disk, I can never write anything on it again. And if it doesn't work, then it is a waste. It doesn't work. Uh, you can't rewrite on a disk that is just dash R or plus R. You need a RW. So we're going to get right away and use Windows 8.1 Pro ISO that I found. And I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded it, so we'll get right away to importing the disk into my computer. You need a ejectable disk drive on your laptop or your computer. Then you put in the blank disk. Then afterwards, you give it a second to load. A couple seconds. Make sure you hear that running, unable to mount blank disk location is already mounted okay so you have just inserted a blank disk choose what application to launch now I can just cancel this and I'll right click the ISO on my desktop right click and then there should be a write to disk on the right click so you click on write to disk now it's select the disk image to write and select the blank disk to write to. So there's only one blank disk in the properties. You want to run at the lowest burn speed, which is 3.0. And you can you do some of these options, use burn proof, simulate before burning. But I think that if you just set the burn speed to 3.0, then you're, you should be fine. So close this out. Burn several copies? Nope. You just want to burn. And it creates image checksum and starts to burn onto the disk. It might take a while, so I'll speed up the video and get back right to you. After completely writing to the disk, it says image successfully burned to DVD. And that took about 30 to 40 minutes, so all you do is close. You can eject your DVD, actually, your DVD gets ejected automatically. So just take that DVD out and you can do a test run. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to stop the video and restart my computer. So restarting my computer, I have my disk inside is rolling and I press F12, boot options for me. You want to go to the boot options and maneuver downward to CD, DVD, slash CD, dash RW drive. And that's basically the DVD drive, so press any key to boot from DVD. I'll press enter, and I'll start booting into my DVD. So I see the Windows 8 icon, so that's good news. It seems as though it is actually working. But we're going to go through the entire step and get into the Windows 8 icon, that the window prompt that comes up when you set up Windows 8 for the first time, and then we'll know that it's working. So... Thanks for watching everyone, I guess it's a good video, and you know, you use Ubuntu, you made that burnt uh, DVD of Windows 8, and it seems to be working. Uh, you rolled it at 3 times speed, and everything seems to be good, so that's good news. Uh, sometimes when I'm recording with the camera, I always get really impatient while I hold that fo phone camera and look at the screen. <laughs> I do a little wave because I was getting bored. Uh, looking at this Windows 8 icon, but it worked so in a few seconds. I think Windows 8 will pop up. Yes So thanks for watching everyone. Please rate come subscribe if you got Windows 8 on that